you guys. There's honestly not much to show today. I honestly wasn't even going to film today. I was just going to do four outfits. But then I remember Friday is Good Friday and I don't have work. And I don't think I have plans. So I'm probably just going to end up home all day. And I want at least four outfits for you. So you guys should see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Probably will show what I wore with for Easter. But it'll be in the following week. Because Sunday starts a new week. Um, This is breaking all my rules. Because I am wearing sweatpants. And I always said I would never wear sweatpants to work. But today was a different kind of day. So if you've been watching my vlogs, you know I've had no car for about three weeks. And I've been having to bum rides off two of my friends to and from work every day. Last week, my brother went car shopping for me. I got a car. It's been in my driveway. But I have you have to go to the insurance. You have to go to the DMV. There's so many things you have to do. And I knocked things out off, off my list slowly after work last week. The last thing being the insurance, which I did on Friday. So today was the last step and I went to the DMV. So I actually took a half, well, so I was going to take a full day off work because I had no idea how long the DMV was going to take. But I told my boss, if the DMV was quick, I could do a half day and be in for 11. Because if you watch the vlog, I don't have the option because I don't get paid hourly. I can't just say, hey, when I leave the DMV, I'll be there. Because the truth is, I was in and out in 15 minutes. I could have been at work for 8.30. But... I don't have an hourly rate, so they wouldn't know what to duck from my pay. So they do it in half days or full days. So the earliest I could go in paid now was 11 o'clock. So I, anyway, the intention was I didn't think I was going to go to work at all. Because, and I talk about this in the vlog, because when the last time I went to DMV, and I was in and out of the DMV about three different times because I had the inappropriate forms it was a big hot mess, and it ended up taking the whole day to get my car registered. So I just had a feel. I just thought it was going to be like that again, and I wasn't going to end up at work. So because of that, I walked for the DMV to be comfortable. This shirt, you guys know I've been obsessed with wearing it a lot, is my Lucky Vibes Amazon shirt um, in the men's 6X and sweatpants. And then my thought was, if I get out in time, I can change and then go to work. And I technically did get home in time. I could have changed quickly. But I was so paranoid because parking at the school sucks when I get late. When I get there late. You guys know. You see it on the vlogs. I thought to myself, oh my god, imagine getting there for 11. It's going to be even worse. And it was a good thing I went early because I ended up parking in literally the last row of cars all the way in the back. Granted, there is multiple entrances. So I probably could have gotten to the building a different way. But it's security guards I'm not used to. And I'm just a very, like, I like doing the same entrance every day with the security guards I'm used to. And also, it just would have been more of a walk in the building. So the only difference it would have made was I would have dealt with less wind. Because even if I went to the first entrance in the back of the building, my classroom is still at the front of the building. So usually I go into the front entrance, the sped hallway is right there, and that's where my classroom is. So I still had to do the distance no matter what door I used. It didn't matter, really. So it literally was like a 10 to 15 minute walk to the building, guys. I am not lying to you. It was a long walk. So and then when I got to work, I couldn't figure out how to lock my car doors because my key fob, the lock button doesn't work. The unlock button works and the automatic start works, but not the lock button. So then I'm literally calling my brother because I was trying to push it down manually myself but I couldn't. I was hurting my thumbs. It would not move. Yeah, and my brother literally me. my brother literally thought I was... No, even twisting it. My brother twisted it and it didn't work. It worked for me? I don't know. But my brother's like, oh, Tay, it must lock one way or another. I said, I can't I can't figure it out. So he's like, just leave it unlocked and go to school. But I was scared because there's parts in the backseat. When I purchased the car, he told me he had two parts. It was like an oil pan and something else, I think, that he was going to include, and my brother would fix it for me. It's nothing that needs to get done immediately, but he included the parts. So I was scared that someone was going to open the car door and take the parts. But my brother's like, uh, I can't help you. I'm not there. Are you going to come to my house? And I said, no, because then I'll definitely be late. I was early, but not that early. So he was like, all right, then just, um, just leave it open. He goes, you're in a public parking lot with lots of cameras and lots of people. Someone would be stupid. And thankfully, when I got back to the car, everything was there. But um, I got to the school really early. But by the time I walked in and went through the detectives and got checked out by security, and then I had to go talk to the main office lady to make sure my hours got adjusted, that I wasn't taking the full day, but I was taking a half day. 
I was just like, I, I, it was a high anxiety day. I don't like the RV. I don't like dealing with car situations. And then work was just so different. I'm not used to going in at 11 and I didn't know the protocol. So I was dying to just get to work. So I ended up going to work like this. Um, of course, it was a different circumstance. So I don't think I would have gotten in trouble or anything. But I was in my classroom for the rest of the day and I got home. So I don't recommend this outfit, but this is what I wore today. I do love these sweatpants a lot for chill days. Um, these are by Wild Fable. They are from Target. They have like the jogger bottom, which I prefer with my sweatpants. I hate... And I know that's not really in right now, like the straight leg. I'm such a millennium or whatever. But I think it looks so much better with sneakers and certain shoes. It looks really good when the pants are close to the ankle. Um, and me, when it's like all like flowy, I don't know. I feel like I get like caught up or it rolls up. And with this, it just stays put and I love it. Especially when I'm like sitting around, picking up my legs, reading a book, watching a movie, lounging around the house. Even like a lot of my pajamas, it's tight around the ankles because that's my preference. If not, it like rolls up and gets uncomfortable. So yeah, this is what I wore today. I will link the Wild Fable leggings in the t-shirt if you want it. Not for work, unless sweatpants are appropriate for your job, then that's totally fine. But yeah, this is it for day one. Hi, it's Miss Green today. Nobody gets that but me. Uh <laughs> One of my students, when he saw me, as soon as I walked into the class, he was like, oh, look, it's Miss Green. And then I took off my sweater, like, in the middle of the class, and I went, what am I now? And he went, oh, look, it's Miss White. But anyway, uh, <laughs> just like, what the hell? Um, this is what I want to wear today. Today is Tuesday. I am wearing my, not the bombshell skinny, I am wearing the Bloom Chic jeans. Uh, the blue, I love these. They're, like, the perfect length for me. They land right at my ankle. They have a good amount of stretch. They're easy and breezy to sit in and do what I got to do. These are the ones I definitely wear when I'm wearing longer shirts. I love my toy bombshell skinny, but I tend to save those for when I'm wearing more crop shirts because it makes my belly look a little bit better. Um, they, they have very stretchy too and stuff, but because they're a little more high-waisted, they're not as comfortable as these. I do have a clothes with Bloom Chic. I will share it down below. I believe it's my name with the number 15 because you lose 50. You lose. You will get 15% off. You win, not lose. Okay, and then uh, these two items were newly purchased at Target. Um, this one, uh, like, before Christmas. This one more recently. I haven't been making a ton of recent Target purchases. Um, I think I've made, like, one since the new year. I'm really trying to shop less, although I've been shopping at that plus-size boutique a lot lately. But that's the exception to the rule. I'm supporting a local um, small business that I love. But anyway, um, a lot of my white t-shirts got ruined in the wash a lot of them have like a blue tinge to them. They must have got washed, I think, with like a new pair of jeans or something. So I decided to replace them. And so, so cheap, guys. So let me actually unbutton this card again so you can see it better. This is a, sta an, a staple at Target. And I love just their staple um, items. They are so cheap. This t-shirt regular price, I think, is $8, maybe $10. I'll link it down below. I paid $6 for it because I think all tees were 20% off. It is such a nice fabric. I've heard people compare this to the Skims. I cannot tell you the comparison because I do not own Skims. But it's like just this nice like slinky sort of fabric that I absolutely love. It does have ribbing. You can see. I think you can see the little white stripes going down. Um, I got this in like brown, gray, black, and white. Because I was like, you know what? I love this shirt so much. I'm going to get it in a few staple colors. So that's exactly what I did, especially for that price. High neck, perfect for work. It does have a little detail here in the collar, which I really enjoy. Um, it's just a little more of a high quality shirt. And it goes, it's like standard length. And then this sweater. I also got that same classroom, the one where the guy, the student called me uh, Mr. Green. I got a compliment from the para. And they were like, oh, that sweater is so pretty. It looks so soft. So I told her, I said, this is actually a fabric at Target that they call cashmere-like. So, of course, it's not actual cashmere. That would be very expensive. But it says it's a cashmere-like garment. And, guys, it is so soft. I absolutely love it. I love the length. It's perfect. It's not too long, not too short. I kind of wish I got this one in more colors. Um, I tend to always gravitate, and you guys know I like colors, but with certain things, I'm like, oh, let's go with a black so I can wear it with everything, or a white, or a gray. But this one, I, I guess I wanted to step out the box, and I got this really, really dark green. I don't know if it's gonna... Joe, can you tell on camera that this is green? 
Because I know yeah. sometimes dark green comes all kind of black. Yeah. It is really pretty. Would you say it's forest green? Not. It's not that dark to be forest it's green. Like, Joe's better with colors than I am. But I don't know I, if y'all can agree with me. I almost want to say like military, dark military. Maybe. And I love the like texture on it. Uh, it is like one of my favorite, favorite cardigans to date. Literally, it is my first time wearing it. I'm hoping it washes well. It did say to look at the care instructions, actually. Let's look at that together. Let me see if I can find it. It did say like um, something on the tag when I ripped it off this morning, which I think I saved. I think I put it on my bedside table. It said cashmere like garland and gar garment. And it did say washes well, but please follow instructions or something along those lines. Uh, you guys know everything at Target I get is a 4X. So the cardigan and the t-shirt are a 4X. The pants are at size 28. So... It's 77% polyester, 20% acrylic, 3% spandex. And it says, turn garment inside out, machine wash cold with light colors, gentle cycle. Tumble dry low, cool iron if needed. I never wash anything in cold. So we're going to see what happens. I hope it lasts okay in the wash because... I love the feeling of this sweater, and I guess that's the price you pay. That's why I probably will never own cashmere. Or one, it's expensive, and two, it's one of those fabrics. Is it? The, is it one? Is it one of those fabrics that has like a dry cleaned? I'm not sure, but I don't like fabrics where you have to like wash a certain way. I am like just not that kind of girl. I'm very low maintenance. I don't want to just throw stuff in the wash and go. But this was my outfit today. I felt really cute. I did wear the cardigan most of the day. There was moments where the cardigan was off, but I still felt cute. I just really enjoy these basic tees from Target. I mean, it was more dressed up than yesterday. That is for sure. And then, can you give me those Ugg boots, show? I wore some jewelry. So I didn't actually wear my Apple Watch today because I kind of went with like a gold theme that you guys are going to see. And the Apple Watch is silver and it was just ruining the flow for me. I wore these and another teacher noticed them today and she was like oh my god you have the platform uggs and i said no these are an amazon dupe she was like oh man she goes i've been wanting them but i don't want to pay 150 i said girl this one was less than 50 i will say when i got them there was a 20 percent off clip on clip off coupon a clip on coupon so it is regular price a little bit higher but she's like oh i only use name brand and teach their own certain things i totally get it is worth the name brand you're getting a more quality item but with those, honestly, I have worn them several times. They've gone through the snow. They've gone through the rain. And I have not noticed a difference. To me, the only thing that's missing is the Ugg tag. And that's only what she said. She said it looked exactly like the platform Uggs. For jewelry. And you guys know I link everything down below. The jewelry is a little bit older. I'll see what I can do. But I'll definitely link all the clothes and the boots. I got this. Is actually... Let me take off. These three rings were actually a three-pack... I bought at Target, and I love that it kind of looks like a chain link, if you guys can see that. And then this one kind of looks like the same, but it has one crystal in the middle. And then this one is, like, surrounded in crystals. So it's this three-pack of uh, gold. Sometimes I stack them together. Sometimes I stack them apart. It all depends. Um, I do tend to wear two of them on my thumb because they are a little looser. But it will fit in my middle finger as well. My middle finger is my thicker finger. But yeah, just so you guys can get like a better look with it on the finger. That's those two. And then like I said, this one kind of looks like a chain link going all the way around. Then I'm wearing my standard evil eye bracelet. The low Kai bracelet. It shows the highs and lows of life. Stay humble, but be grateful. And then this, Joe got me this for Christmas. I have not worn it yet. I wore it today and I got some compliments with a speech therapist that's come in and work with my kids. And she was like, oh, Miss Rogue, I love all your jewelry today. And I was like, oh, thank you. So this is a Harry Potter set by Pure Vida that Joe got me. I will link it down below if it's still available. I can't, one, they're all rope bracelets. One has the Hogwarts letter charm. One has Hedwig the Owl. And then these two aren't as much Harry Potter. This one is just a bunch of gold crystals. And then this one is just a gold necklace. But I like the stack together. And I think that's why even when my Tardigan was off, even though I was just wearing a t-shirt and jeans, I still kind of felt dressed up because of the jewelry. Um, I just need to get in the habit of like wearing a necklace. I find I'll wear a necklace and nothing else or everything but a necklace. I don't know why my brain works like that. And I did just kind of, of course, now it's kind of messy. But I did kind of just have like a slicked back do today. So I felt really really cute we'll have two more days guys because i only i don't work friday so you guys will see what i wear wednesday and thursday 
if I do go out, maybe I'll include an extra clip, but I'm not sure. But this is what I wore for Tuesday. Guys, I'm hopping back on because I forgot to show you one of my rings. This was newly purchased. I picked this up in a Facebook ad. And I don't do that as much anymore because I did get burned once. You guys are going to see that in a video soon. But I love the idea of this. It said it was a fidget ring. Um, I think they were... Oh my god, they were so cheap. 10 bucks each or something like that. 12 maybe. And it was like adjustable. It fits your size, your ring no matter your size, no matter what. Your finger, I mean. Because there's no specific ring size, because you can kind of stretch it open where you need. And basically all these beads move. So as it's on your finger, you can play with it. And it says it's specifically for people that have issues with biting their nails. And as you can see on camera i definitely have issues with biting my nails these were so cheap i ended up buying it in the gold which is what you see on this thumb the silver which is right here and i also got it in the rose gold which is put away i don't wear rose gold as much as even though i do really like rose gold but yeah i wanted to hop on quick and show you that because if you are someone that suffers with like anxiety or nail biting Alrighty guys, it is Wednesday. I just finished my college class. This is what I wore today. So I got this from a small business I have mentioned to you guys a few times that I absolutely love called Allie Makes Magic. I will share her down below. I make no money off that link. I do make money off like sometimes the Target Walmart ones, but not like the small business ones for the most part. Um, And you might be screaming because you might know exactly what this is. Joe's cousin who goes to the school I work at, as soon as she saw it, she knew it instantly. I had another adult, like a, one of the staff members, not a student, saw this and she went, what's that from? She was so confused. She's like, is there an actually a Forks Washington? I said, no, it's a fake land in a movie. And she was like trying to guess the movie. Well, I said, I, yeah, I said in a movie, but she went, oh, uh, is it Ye not Yellowstone, not Outlander? She was like naming a bunch of random shows. And I said, nope, it is... You guys want to make your guesses down below? I'll give you the same clue. It's from a vampire movie. Da, na, 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 na. It's Twilight. And I love sweaters like this. I love when it doesn't scream Twilight, doesn't have Bella slapped on it or Edward slapped on it or the werewolf. You have to like really know the movie or the show to know that this is related to Twilight. She does this a lot, this Alley Makes Magic. My other um, sweatshirt from her that I love is the one that says Chilton, which is the school Rory goes to in Gilmore Girls. Joe's cousin loved it so much, she asked right away, she's like, oh my God, where did you get that? And I told her, Alley Makes Magic. So she does really cutesy designs. She has some like really cute with like bows that I just bought recently and like cupids. She does Taylor Swift. She has Veronica Mars, which I love. She has Gilmore Girls. She has like New York City things. She does like a lot of like, pop culture popular things she does more than just sweatshirts because i just ordered my first bookmark from her i ordered a cute uh cozy from her like the ones you put over your coffee cup so definitely check her out i absolutely love her i believe there is <clears throat> there might be some stains on it we cooked today but i love that it says forks washington and not only that but it has i don't know if you guys can see it has these little blue trees on it too as well over here and over here and then the forks almost looks like it's stitched it's not this is just like printed but the way that it's printed it literally looks like almost like a blue thread super cute these are a 4x and they fit me very very well as you guys can see i love her 4x that's it is a little more expensive but i'm always willing to buy from her because her designs are unique they're supporting a small women-owned business and i know this is going to fit me very well because i've gotten some other forex sweatshirts and they're a little snug and i appreciate the room i have with hers and that's basically it. i'm wearing my bloom sheet jeans you guys know i have a code with them i will share them down below i'm wondering if i lost some weight recently i'm not sure but i spent the majority of the day pushing these pants up which was kind of frustrating they used to fit me like really well and had a good stretch to them and they were like my favorite go-to jean and i think i literally just mentioned that yesterday or monday i don't remember um, but I don't know. They're like, maybe they're a little like too stretched out now. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'll definitely still wear them, but I had to keep pushing them up today. That is for sure. And then I went with some jewelry. So you guys have seen this before. This is from Target. A new day. This is the one that has the crystals going all the way around. I love this one. My new ring, which is a fidget ring. You, all the balls can move around and you can play with them that you guys saw yesterday. And then I'm wearing 
the apple dupe from amazon it counts my steps uh my oxygen rate and all those things i don't know about oxygen rate what am i hot rate that's what i was trying to say and you can change the faces on the clock i love this one it reminds me of like van gogh starry night there's so many options you just download an app on your phone and then my standard evil eye bracelet this one's from a craft store but i link in a similar one from amazon that's really cheap and then my low-key bracelet you guys know i love the black bead is supposed to be mud from the dead sea the white bead is supposed to be water from mount everest it's supposed to represent the highs and lows of life be grateful but stay humble i love what they stand for it's literally my go-to bracelet i wear it about just about every single day and then i just wore this and i wore some black new balance sneakers it's not winter anymore so i don't need boots but, uh, and today was like a decently warm day. I think it hit 60 today. Um, the last three days or two days, whatever, were super windy and cold. Um, we've kind of been going between like, I would say like 40 and 60. So it's not like winter weather where it's below 30, but definitely not spring weather yet. But April is around the corner. I cannot wait. Um, you guys will see me tomorrow for my final outfit for work. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to pop on again because it's a different kind of week. We don't have work on friday because it's good friday so unless i go out which i don't have plans to um i mean not during the day maybe at night i will pop back on and show you guys so i like to show you guys at least five outfits but this is outfit number three Alrighty, guys it is thursday i just got home after work we had like a little social event where all the teachers went to like a local restaurant and i had a good time but i am exhausted i am so glad it was a four-day work week i do not think i could go to work tomorrow honestly truly I don't know what it is. Everyone's joking around that. Something about the eclipse that's happening. There's like an eclipse happening and Mercury in retrograde or something. The kids have just been wild. And it's just been exhausting. And I'll leave it at that. But this is what I wore today. Um, I've also been having... That's my alarm. To take my pill. Anyway, I've been having the awful sleep the last two days. I keep tossing and turning. I've been having a dreams, a lot of dreams in my sleep. And I don't normally dream in my sleep. And I'm not waking up restful. I am waking up tired on top of it. So I cannot wait. I'm literally going to rip this off, put on pajamas. And Joe is heating up soup frost. It's a rainy day here in Massachusetts. I literally just had to wipe off my glasses because I just had all raindrops. But this is what I wore today. I woke up a little bit late. So I just threw on some jeans. These are my Torrid Bombshell skinny jeans and then this t-shirt i just got at target you guys saw the white one the other day and i mentioned how i got it in a few bright colors for summer this is one of them it's like this really cute like neon greenish yellow i actually got some compliments on this today again i really like the high neckline it's this nice ribbing material a lot of people say this is like a dupe to the skims because it feels really good on the body it's like a really nice breathable fabric um and then to throw on top, I am wearing this cute little cardigan, I guess you would call it, from Torrid. I love this thing. It's very thin. It's perfect for spring, even though it is not spring weather today. But I got it in this really cute tan color, and I got it in this really cute black color. And it does have the option. You can, like, cinch the sides, uh, and then you have, like, a long string. I don't know. To me, that looks kind of weird. So I just let the – I just stretch it all the way out, and then it just has, like, a cute little tie – look to it in my opinion but no buttons no zipper it's kind of just one of those open cardigans it does have a nice hood which came in handy today with the rain it wasn't like a cold rain honestly so this little thing was okay um it's it's like a it's 60 and raining so it's not super cold but it's not warm either so i'm just dying to get cozy in my pajamas with some soup um this will probably end the outfits of the week because I don't have any plans tomorrow. So, yeah. What was your favorite outfit? I'm going to end it here um, because I don't think I'm going out tomorrow. And if me and Joe go out during the weekend, honestly, I'm usually just wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt. So, let me know what your favorite outfit was. I'll be linking everything down below. You guys are seeing this on a Saturday. That is the day I post my outfits of the week. If you're like me, you like plus-size content, plus-size fashion, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Share it. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Comments, likes, shares, all those things. Uh, that's why I usually ask you guys, like, oh, what's your favorite outfit? Because it starts a conversation. Um, and I'll have all the links down below if you guys want to shop anything. Um, this was, like, a clearance sale when I got it, so there might not be any left. I also like that it has pockets. I don't even know if I mentioned that. But this is fairly new. I could definitely get you guys this. this these jeans are a staple at Torah. They have them year-round. So check out all those links down below, and be safe, guys.
Alrighty, guys, I hopped back on because I realized I did not show you guys my shoes. And normally when I film this, I don't have my shoes on um, because I've already been like relaxing at home for a few hours and I'm in my slippers. But since they're actually on today, I figured I would let you guys see what they look like on my foot. Again, somebody thought they were Uggs today. They asked me about them. These are not real Uggs. These are a dupe. When I bought them, they were under 50 bucks on Amazon. I do believe the regular price is like 60 or 70. I had it when they had a clip 20% off coupon. I will link it down below. Hopefully it's uh, you see a coupon. If not, maybe wait off if you think it's worth the 60 or 70. It is a platform. It does give me a little bit more height. Very comfortable. It got caught in the rain today and I don't see like any stains. There's a few little drops, but I think those are gonna dry okay. Not bad at all, especially for not real Uggs. They are fur lined, super duper comfortable. I love the color. They come in a lot of different colors. So if you're interested, Check that link down below.